Good Monday afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, May 13th, 2019. Welcome to another edition of Talking Fitchburg. I have returned from down south. Hello, everybody. Jeremy Crosby here. Andrew as well. Andrew back in his favorite spot, the dungeon. Yes, the dungeon. <laughs> and I'm back in a spot. <laughs> You're back in your spot. I'm back in my spot. We're all good. How did things go last week, Andrew? <clears throat> it went well. Scott did a great job helping out when he did, and um, I did, I think, every TF on my own update, the morning updates, but worked out pretty well from right here, so we, we got her done. Well, you? Good. I It was a great week. Went to good. Atlanta. Yeah. Had some work down there, but uh, everything went really good and got mm-hmm. to tour some places. Nice. Went to uh, Coca-Cola, Andrew. Coca-Cola. Nice. And, Big uh, fan. And I'm a very giant fan Big of fan. Coca-Cola. Yeah. And yes. then uh, went to um, Delta Airline Museum as well, which is pretty cool because they have a 747. Like I've never been in a 747. They got okay. one you can go they're into. They're huge. <laughs> it's it was amazing. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. So got lots of photos. Had some fun. Nice. Wife and I got to take a break from the kids, which was good, but also like hard. You know, it was hard yep. to be away, but. It's a long time. But I feel rejuvenated and just ready to just roll with it. Well, good. So. so you don't need me anymore, so I'm going <laughs> to step back. We do have a busy show today. Andrew yes, we do. Is right. Uh, we've got a lot to get to here. we get you updated on headlines, uh, including uh, talking about uh, National Police Week. We'll tell you about it and take you out to Law Enforcement Memorial uh, held uh, just before Police Week uh, each year. We'll share that with you uh, coming up. It is Monday, so we got to talk about the Verona Road construction update for you for this week. Uh, we'll get you updated on that project. A lot going on. Drove through there the other day. It's quite a changeover. It's been a while since I'd seen it all. And, yeah, it's pretty pretty amazing out there uh, for stuff that's going on. And then we'll take you out to Kids Building, Wisconsin over the weekend. It happened on Saturday here. Uh, weather held out. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully you had a chance to make it out there. If you didn't, we're going to take you out there here in just a little bit of time. But first, we do kick it off. With headlines, we start with National Police Week as our headline today. And, uh, yeah, this week is designated uh, by Congress and the President of the United States. Also on this week, uh, May 15th, uh, Peace Officer Memorial Day uh, has held a recent council meeting. The picture here, as you're seeing, Mayor Aaron Richardson presented a proclamation in recognition of the members of Fitchburg, uh, Wisconsin Police Department. And, uh, yeah, all week long, make sure you, uh, if you see an officer, say, hey, thank you they do a really great job and that's not just uh, Fitchburg Police Department that's all municipalities saying hey and thank you all week long here and if you see Drago say hey to Drago and Parker say hi to anybody that's what I'm saying and uh, yeah it's uh, again great week for that uh, we turn our attention to last Friday uh, as the 29th annual Wisconsin Law, Mo- uh, Law Enforcement Memorial uh, celebration took place at the memorial site located at the state capitol grounds. That's quarter of Pickney and Mifflin. Uh, our staff out there, Andrew, uh, Scott Preston, all out there uh, taking part in this uh, covenant for you. And uh, we have a, uh, a, a look back at uh, this uh, great memorial. Welcome to the 29th Annual Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. Thank you for all, all of you for taking time out of your busy lives to be here with us all today. We are here to remember and honor Wisconsin law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. This year, our thoughts and our prayers are with the Milwaukee Police Department. Two more names will be officially added to the memorial bringing the total names on the memorial to 279. Both of those officers this year are from the Milwaukee Police Department. On June 7, 2018, Officer Charles G. Irvine Jr. was killed in a single vehicle crash while pursuing another vehicle. Officer Irvine was a passenger in the vehicle when his patrol vehicle left the roadway and collided with a support wall. On July 25th, 2018, Officer Michael J. Mahalski was part of a team searching for a suspect wanted on a parole violation. As Officer Mahalski climbed a staircase, the suspect who had hidden himself fired on officers, fatally wounding Officer Mahalski. 
Officer Charles G. Irvine, Milwaukee Police Department, end of watch, June 7th, 2018. And Officer Michael J. Mahalski, Milwaukee Police Department, end of watch, July 25th, 2018. This memorial is pretty incredible uh, to see. Unfortunately, two names added this year uh, from this past year. And it's just an amazing uh, show of force from police officers across uh, Wisconsin that uh, come out uh, for the event uh, in card. And I'm glad we cover it every year and uh, we'll be playing the full ceremony back uh, later this month. In other news... Uh, we've got the Madison Reading Project will be launching a brand new big red reading bust, bursting with free books for kids. That's right. This vehicle will be stopping in a neighborhood near you starting in June and uh, basically bringing you books. Yeah, it'll be a gathering spot, it'll be at hometown festivals, schools, libraries, parks where children will be invited to browse hundreds of books and select a few to take home at no charge. This is pretty cool. They'll have a kickoff party on Thursday, May 30th at 5 o'clock p.m. at the Madison uh, Masonic Center, 301 Wisconsin Avenue, downtown Madison. During the first hour, guests can enjoy light refreshments and a tour of the bus. Great speakers and a poetry jam will close the celebration. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing uh, this bus uh, coming to the area soon. All right. We also have open book and uh, board of review scheduled. You have through tomorrow if you would like to uh, take part here in the open book uh, session. This runs through tomorrow, uh, May 14th, 7.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. weekdays. Do need to make arrangements with the assessors uh, to uh, come down here and uh, have an appointment with them. And then board of review will be held on Friday, June 14th, right here at City Hall. Fitchburg Ride of Silence will be taking place on uh, May four, uh, May fifteenth. Here, Ride of Silence will uh, uh, will uh, traverse and unite the uh, globe as nothing before it. Cyclists will take the roads in the silent process to honor cyclists who have been killed or injured while cycling on public roadways. Although cyclists have the legal right to share the road with motorists, the motoring public often isn't aware of these rights and sometimes not aware of the cyclists themselves. This ride will be taking place. Uh, uh, you can join Bike Fitchburg at uh, Adesis 2965 Cahill, Maine on, uh, I said, uh, May 15th. Thank you. <laughs> I need to look up here. I'm transitioning between two here. May 15th. Uh, you'll uh, come in at uh, 630. You can check in. Ride leaves at 7 o'clock from there. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice ride, nice, silent ride. And uh, you are encouraged, if I saw this right, 
friendly reminder that's free to ride helmets and a red a rear red blinking lights are required for this ride so because you are uh, traveling at night so be aware of that you can check in with bike fishberg and we'll of course share the link when we post up the headlines later today all right that does it for our headlines coming up next we open up the digest with your verona road construction update but first here's a look at the meetings taking place this week at the city of fitchburg <laughs> 